Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first online Q and A session with of Coffee with Jaggi. I'm Shubankar. I'm a story branding expert, and today with me we have Mr. Jagdish Ahuja. Let me just give a brief introduction about him. He was the ex-president of Bangalore Stock Exchange, and he was the world's youngest stock market president. He has his own set of unique courses on wealth mastery. He is the owner and founder of Bunch Works, Shanti Nagar's first co-working space, and has transformed various organizations over the past few decades. Welcome, welcome to the show. And I would also like all of you to all of you. I would like to wish all of you a very happy Yoga Di, a very happy Yoga Di to you also. So, over to you. Happy Yoga Di, Shubankar, and happy Yoga Di to all the viewers. It's uh, indeed, uh, you know, a time to celebrate. And this time, we have luckily Modi has made us celebrate at home. So, literally, a Modi Rekha outside our house. But that gives us even more opportunity to spend even more time with our families. So, I think that brings us closer. So, let's have a very, very good Yoga Di and a prosperous year ahead. Which you know, we will see how prosperity will unfold. Once this entire saga is put behind us. Yes. So diving it straight to the chunk of the discussion. A few days ago, when we had been to a session of you, it was about cashing. The topic was cashing in on crisis. I had just asked you a question. In this whole pandemic-induced crisis, what can a common man like me do? Because I don't have too much money in stock market here, there, and all. So you had told me. First thing is. You got to stock up at least two months of groceries because the lockdown is going to be extended. At that time, it was too, it was a little crazy to me. Like, oh, what do you mean two months? Who stocks for two months? Nothing's going to happen. But I took your word and I did it, and it actually happened. One, how you act? Oh, I want to ask you, what are the two main things in every person should do right now to protect themselves financially? Well, the first part when you just reminded me about uh, you know the talk which I gave at the Lions Club, yes, uh, the reason I you know came to this uh, solution or uh, the suggestion which I gave you of stocking up is because I could actually see this happening in India, and if it, the reason is very simple, if uh, countries and developed countries like Italy could go from state lockdown to country lockdown, what's so different between Italy and India? So. Keeping that in mind and look at it, Italy has got a much better healthcare system than ours. Italy has a less dense population than ours. So compared to Italy, we are literally a sitting duck. And no wonder Modi ji yesterday did the lockdown because the rate of infection which was going on just 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 went crazy. From maybe like uh, it took 45 to 60 days for the first one lakh cases to come, 12 days for the next one lakh, and only four days for the third lakh. You know, so this is the sort of epidemic we were seeing. And uh, the way it's going on suggests that, you know, it is here for some time, uh, for at least a couple of weeks to maybe a few months to settle down. So that's the reason I had actually asked you to stock up. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. second part. Uh, the second part of the thing is, yeah, what can a, two things can a person do? The first thing anybody has to do when it comes to finances, FFF, fix your finances first. And what do I mean by fix your finances first? You need to understand where you stand. So all you need to do is just sit down with yourself, see what what are your assets, what are your liabilities, and move in certain of your assets and liquidate certain of your assets to A, either to cash, B, to debt, to supplement your income. Because when tough times come, trust me, you know, jobs, layoffs, everything starts happening together. And you don't know which way the economy starts heading. We've seen it happening in 2008. So, you know, we've seen it happening earlier. So whenever such things happen, we really don't know where. It's like a domino effect. One top is the other, one top is the other, one top is the other. So we really don't know. So the first thing one should do is fix your finances, understand where you stand, keep three months of liquid cash with you. And three months of living, you know, your, your expenses should be right there in your cupboard, stored away. Trust me, the day you see that in cash lying right there in front of you, you will come up with a big smile and not only that you need three months of uh, the same money lying in a savings account which you can withdraw via a debit card should you not have that at least ensure that you have credit limits which will help you survive should there be any exigency second thing emergencies are emergencies so what are we looking at here we everybody should be uh, insured so what i mean by insured either life insurance of course is there 
but medical insurance is more critical at this juncture so ensure that your family is well protected ensure that your family has got the right medical insurance ensure that you have a family floater policy which because the premiums work out lower and the coverage is much better so ensure that you know you can take advantage of this and see that you can have medical uh, you know you can have a medical insurance for your entire family health insurance so these are two things which i think are very Amazing. critical uh, once you have these two done because see that you have you know some money lying in debt because some sort of monthly income recurring income should start coming to you whether you work or not because i always say financial freedom is you know working not if you want to i mean not if you have to but if only if you want to so you have to reach that stage yes amazing so last question which a lot of people are pondering over and you're the best person to answer this the stock market if someone has put their money in stock market what are the steps they should follow right now to protect their money or to safeguard it how should they handle their investment in the stock market well stock market is a different genie altogether but uh, one thing which we have seen in the past is that you know tough times don't last for too long they come they go but tough times can last you know as high as maybe a year also it's not that it's the 2008 crisis lasted more than a year you know to come back so it's not that you know we can we can't put a timeline to any crisis so the reason what i'm why i'm saying you is that a person who is in the market should keep in mind that such exigencies pandemics etc etc or uh, you know economic crises collapses bank uh, going bust all these things tend to happen in a course of couple of years so you need to keep a long term horizon you cannot be timing the markets too short yes in our workshop we give you ideas as to how you can actually start looking at when you should exit the markets there are telltale signs there are signs which are found in technical analysis which gives you an exit clear exits there are patterns which gives you exits there are fii figures which give you exit so there are different ways in which you know the market actually tells you pause i'm going lower so you need to understand that and the moment say for example say if, if the market corrects percent in a month's time that's one of the signals because normally what happens a 5 7 8% 9% correction in a month is okay 10% something wrong and you know people think no it's come down 10% it's a great opportunity to buy but my question to you is why did it come down 10% in the first place so there's something wrong so you need to investigate further the moment you see some signs like that you need to first move out your portfolio into defensive stocks move into stocks what do i mean by defensive stocks don't be aggressive on your investments don't take the latest growth figures and you know the companies which are showing uh, you know marvelous growth look at the ones which you have like like the companies which you bought when you stocked out the goods you you went and uh, bought goods right you bought with fast moving consumer goods for example whether you are at home whether you are outside you still need to brush your teeth you still need to feed yourself you still need to you know groom yourself so all these companies are going to still do well medicines are going to do well but which are the effects which are the companies which will you know take a hit you know for example banks especially public sector banks in our country are the greatest punching bag you can ever get so they could be a hedge against your entire portfolio other companies which are going to be affected severely by any sort sort of uh, you know clamp down let's see when the moment com- countries start closing borders that's a sure sign that tourism is going for a toss that's a sure sign hotels are going for a toss there's a sure sign luggage and you know all these taxis anything to do with uh, a tourism is going to go for a toss so what happens these are the com- you know you should hedge your uh, uh, portfolio accordingly so move into defensives on one side hedge your positions if you can on the other side now coming to the fact that we have already touched 7600 uh, you know yesterday so 7600 is between 7450 to 7600 is a good support for the market should 7400 go then we are looking at an a, a, a little more uh, you know deeper correction of maybe another 600 to 800 points so let's see what happens but as of now unless you don't have a uh, you know unless you don't have this um, stomach for uh, taking a risk and you you can not keep money aside i think you should not be in the stock market and then you should be just looking out and finding a way out so panic yes we all will panic at one point of time the point is if you have a system in place 